Good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday to you. I am running just a couple minutes late. I apologize for that. Um, I am currently working on my devotional uh, for Advent, and it is coming along nicely. I seriously hope to have it completed, writing it by Friday so that it's available for sale hopefully by Monday. So um, I will let you know how it's going. Um, it is, it, it's going to be a little different than what you're used to as far as some of my devotionals. Um, this one is going to be a, a very interactive type um, devotional for Advent that you're not only just going to be doing a daily devotional and that's it, but we're going to be doing um, giving you some craft ideas, some poems, some different things like that to make this a unique devotional this year for Advent, something that maybe you've never done with an Advent before. So like I said, I hope to have it finished being written um, by Friday and available for sale on Monday. So check your email. And if you're not on my email list, make sure you join, okay? Just go to my Facebook or my um website at blessedbeboutique.com and you can sign up there for my newsletter. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's devotional. So it is um, uh, Tuesday, November 7th, and um, our devotional today using the BLESS method is Isaiah 12 2. And the B for the BLESS method is the Bible verse, and that is Isaiah 12 2, which says, Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. The L and the blessed method is listening for God's word and praying. So please pray with me. Heavenly Father, help me trust in your salvation and find my strength in you and you alone. Remove any fear from me, Lord, that is in my heart and replace it with confidence in your promises. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So a, the E in the blessed method is exploring the history and the meaning. So this verse was written by Isaiah, the prophet, and he wrote it emphasizing the importance of trust and confidence in God. And this verse is part of a, a song of praise for God's deliverance. And it's highlighting that God is our ultimate source of salvation, of strength and protection. And it encourages us to trust in him completely and not be afraid, knowing that he's with us always, guarding us from harm and providing us with the strength that we need. So the S and the first S in the blessed method is studying the keywords and phrases. So the Lord is my salvation is talking about God being the ultimate source of rescue, of deliverance, of eternal security. And it's emphasizing our dependence on him for spiritual and earthly salvation and highlighting his role as our savior. I will trust and not be afraid. That's talking about the importance of unwavering trust in God so that it helps make our fear and anxiety go away. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. And that's talking about how God is not some abstract concept, but a personal and powerful presence. It emphasizes his dual role as both our source of strength and our protector. And the last one is he become my salvation. And this phrase is, is portraying God's active involvement in our lives, signifying that he's not merely just saved us in the past. He's continuously saving us in the future. So the last S is summarizing and sharing. So as I think about this verse, I'm reminded of the countless times in my life when God has been my salvation, my strength, and my refuge. It's like looking back at a beautiful tapestry that's woven with threads of trust and fearlessness and God's unwavering presence. Throughout my journey in my life and in my business, there have been times when fear threatened to engulf me, like a looming darkness ahead of me. And yet, as I place my trust in God, the shadows of fear recede. 
and his light shines brightly. His light doesn't just dispel the darkness. It reveals the way forward. It illuminates the path of hope and faith and victory. When the say, when it's these words just resonate so deeply in me about God being my strength and my defense. They speak about a personal relationship with God who isn't just distant, but he's intimately involved in my life. When I am weak and uncertain and vulnerable, I find my strength in him. I find strength that defies human explanation. His strength carries me through storms and makes me resilient and unshakable. He's not just some distant figurehead, but he's a present, mighty defender in my life. He shields me from all those arrow, arrows that are, are being shot at me. And he stands in front of me when challenges come my way. His faithfulness is my shield and his love is my armor. This verse is a testament to God's enduring love and his commitment to being our salvation. He doesn't just save us once and then disappear. His salvation is a continuous, unending wellspring of grace. It's the assurance that no matter how long the night of difficulty might seem, the morning of rejoicing is inevitable, right? So as we journey through this month of November and we're focusing on rediscovering joy, remember this promise. Remember that even in the darkest of times, God's light shines brightly and it leads us into a place of enduring joy. Our joy is not fleeting. It's a profound reality that's rooted in the eternal love and favor of our Heavenly Father. So let's not just rediscover joy this month. Share it. Share it abundantly with others. Just as the dawn breaks the silence of night, our lives can dispel the darkness around us. So let's be beacons of hope. Let's be living testimonies of God's unwavering love. And let's encourage one another to trust in him without fear always. Amen. Amen. All right. The four Bible cross references for today are Psalm 27.1. Psalm 56, verse 3, Psalm 118, 14, and the last one in Proverbs 18, 10. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I so appreciate you being here. If you're watching this on replay, please type in replay so that we know that you saw it, and we will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.